Okay, what up ladies and gents, it's your favorite Asian robot right here, hopefully your favorite Dark Tide YouTuber, and today, what I've got for you is a build by a viewer that I thought was pretty fantastic. So, um, Nancy over here had mentioned in a comment that they had actually beaten the Karnak twins on hard mode using a Psyker build. I actually went and tested that build out live on stream, alright, and there's footage of this, of one of the tests in a Maelstrom run. Um, at the end of this video as well, so we've, so we've got all of that. But what I can say is, although I did not manage to complete the Karnak Twins with this particular build, I actually found it to be quite strong and quite useful, which is why I'm putting out a video on it. Because, um, quite frankly, I, I, I feel that this build is actually good, not just for the Karnak Twins, but also for you guys to use in regular combat. In fact, I used it in a Maelstrom run, Auric... Maelstrom run, okay, with Nurgle Blessing and all that, and I still came out just fine. So, um, yeah, you'll see some of the footage of that at the end of this, but it, it, it's genuinely crazy. And uh, once again, credit to Nancy. The link to their build is in the description of this video. So if you click on the description, the link to their build is there. I have not made that build. I have not touched it. I have not done anything other than put the link there and put out this video on it. So thank you very much, Nancy. Um, for sharing your lovely build with us. Let's go through with how to make this build as awesome as it is. Let's talk about the talent tree first, okay? So what you're gonna notice with this Psyker build is that it builds very differently to how I normally build my stuff, but it is pretty powerful, okay? So you're gonna wanna grab Soul Stealer, okay? Every time you kill somebody with a warp attack, 7.5% toughness. Quietude and warp expenditure are great. These will help you regenerate your toughness really quickly. Perilous Combustion, every time you deal with an Elite or Specialist, you're going to apply Soul Blaze stacks to nearby enemies. Battle Meditation, 10% chance to quell 10% Peril on kill. Very good when you're in a Horde situation, even when you're knifing the enemies, alright? You will kill some of them and that'll quell your Peril down faster, allowing you to get back to the action again. Alright, Toughness Boost, Toughness Boost for Survival. This is heavy on Survival and Defense. You've got Smite together with uh, Lightning Storm, okay, for the additional jump. I tried it with Enfeeble, I find that Lightning Storm is so much more useful. It does increase the number of jumps right at the start, which means that you've got two points that you're smiting from instead of just one, which I find really helpful. You've got Peril Resistance here for Wildfire and Psychonetics Aura. This is so that you can spread your Perilous Combustion even more, and also for your Creeping Flames later on. Okay, so Wildfire will help you spread Soul Blaze stacks, Psychonetics Aura will help you cool down your Venting Shriek even faster. You've got Inspiring Presence and then Seer's Presence. All of this to help you regenerate toughness. This one will give you more cooldown reduction for your entire team. It's very good. One with the Warp, all right? The higher your Peril, the more your toughness damage reduction. This is a no-brainer. You've got Peril Resistance right here. You've got Venting Shriek, Becoming Eruption, and Creeping Flames. Okay, Venting Shriek will be used to apply Soul Blaze stacks, up to six Soul Blaze stacks based on your current Peril. You want to generally use Venting Shriek when you are above 80%. Peril. I generally do it when I'm close to 100 or at 100. Yep. You come down for Peril Generation and you take a health boost here. Grab your Puppet Master, Toughness Damage Reduction, Solidity, and Toughness Boost again. You want to grab Warp Rider, a Toughness Boost here, and Empowered Psionics, Bio Lodestone, and Charged Up. Why Bio Lodestone instead of Overpowering Souls? Because Bio Lodestone ups the Empowered Psionics chance from 7.5% up to 12.5%. Basically, when you're start when you're smiting an Auric Maelstrom and burning out hordes, you actually get back your Empowered Psionics charges so fast that it is far better for overpowering souls. And this also works better in the Karnak twin stage. Um, so when you're when you're looking at the twins, right, in hard mode, and there's huge hordes swarming in on you, this is better than this because the veteran may get the elite kills, you may not. So Bio Lodestone helps out here. Charged up, of course, allows you to hold three charges of Empowered Psionics, which is good. All right. That is it for the base talent tree. Now, let's talk about equipment. So what are you actually going to need in terms of equipment for this build? Okay, first you're going to need a Katakan. You know, I, I know I call it Katakan, but it's because of the meme. It's Katachan, but whatever. Katakan. Katakan Combat Blade, all right, Mark III is my favorite. Why not the Mark uh, VI version? Because the Mark III, uh, I prefer the pattern. And also, when you're using this for sprinting, which I'll show you in the tips section later, um, it just gets better so that you can use your strike down attack straight after sprinting, yeah? In terms of stats, I try to usually roll high finesse, first target, and damage, as well as high mobility is crucial with this one. You generally want anything above 70 mobility, 
all right you don't need to go all the way to 79 anything above 70 is good penetration is sort of your dump stat here but anything above 60 is good if you can roll it around 70 that's good for you too but try to focus on damage finesse and first target this is more crucial in terms of your blessings you need precognition and repost i hope i pronounced that correctly if i didn't don't tell me okay so both of these will enhance your critical chance and finesse damage allowing you to deal severe crits to enemies all right um in terms of your perks what you want is uh critical hit damage all right and I've got melee damage enemies uh, to elites here, but realistically speaking, um, for this one, it's actually way better to have stamina or crit chance. It's up to you, but this is what I've got on this knife, right? Um, for your surge staff, which will be used in this build, I've tried this variant with both the void strike and surge. It works better with the surge, even on the twins fight. Uh, you want to have your range critical strike chance, maniac damage, Warp Nexus and Warp Flurry at Tier 4. This is pretty standard. Damage and critical bonus as well as charge rate as high as possible. Uh, charge rate just needs to be as above 70. To be honest, you, you won't really notice much of a difference. Um, warp Resistance as high as possible. Quell Speed, anything above 50 is good. But if you can get around 60 plus, that's also good. The more Quell Speed you have, the faster you Quell, which is good. Right? Warp Resistance, the more Warp Resistance you have, the, the less your Peril builds up. But anything above 70 is good already. You don't need to go all the way to 80. All right? So these are generally the stats you want, but focus on your blessings and focus on your perks first because that's a lot more important for the surge staff. Stats wise, try to get whatever you can as high as possible for the damage stats. Yeah. Okay, that's it for the surge staff. Now for your curios for this particular build, what you're going to be one to run is um, something slightly different. For me personally, I was not able to roll stamina on the combat blade, so I went with stamina here. Uh, Nancy actually uses a wound curio in, in, in her build, uh, but... For me personally, I went with the Stamina Curio because I don't really need the extra wound and I feel fine like this. Uh, even for the Karnak Twin fight, um, your Stim will heal you for 50% of your health and solve an entire wound if you have just two wounds. So for me, it was better to not to ha uh, not have an extra wound. But you can you can play that however you want. For your Curios, I went with uh, she runs with health and health. All right. Now in terms of your perks. For this one, I've got damage resistance, gunners, toughness, max health. Here, I didn't change it from my original because a lot of my other builds use the original format. Gunners, toughness, regeneration, speed, combat, ability, regeneration. But Nancy recommends the toughness, max health, and damage resistance gunners for both of your health curios. Um, I leave it up to you what you want to do. It's just, just base it on like what you can uh, potentially roll. But it is important that you have health bonus on both. It will keep you alive in a lot of situations. And again... This applies to Auric Maelstroms as well, all right? The Toughness Regeneration Speed, there's a lot of debate about this, but I'll just tell you honestly that it works just fine for me. I find that it helps me keep up my toughness really well together with all the regeneration methods that we already have. So this is what I'm using. If you want to use something different, be my guest. But this is what I'm using, all right? Okay, that's it for the gear, equipment, everything that you need. What about the playstyle of this build? Well, there is going to be a demonstration uh, section, but that's just going to show you how effective this build is in combat. I'm going to take some select uh, sections from my run. If you really want to, you can check out the full stream. Link is in the description as well. If you want to check out the full stream where we tested this, all the different runs where we succeeded, failed, all that, you can see all the different areas. But basically, I'm now going to give you some tips about this build, some things that you might need to understand. First and foremost, with the combat knife, what you're here to do is move fast. This is why you want the combat knife, all right? When it comes to movement technique with the combat knife, please make sure that as you sprint, you charge up a heavy attack. If you do, your sprint will be faster. All right, look. You will, you will see yourself. Now, I'm used to it already, but you will see yourself just moving faster. All right, this is a technique that I that was taught on my Zealot videos. Same thing. Now, your combat knife, okay, requires the dodges in order to deal the best damage but you have to dodge an actual attack just dodging like that will not give you any of the bonus buffs all right so just be aware of that you also don't have bleed on this so be very careful why i prefer the combat knife 3 is that if i really need to sprint i'm already going to strike down at a target's head so if i have to sprint toward a target you know i'm already ready to strike down on them all right which is very helpful next in terms of your smite okay you will build up empowered psionics charges assuming you get a kill but if you don't get a kill, your smite can still spread pretty far. Now, 
what you want to do is the same technique that you would have seen in the previous versions of my builds where you would uh, spread Soul Blaze, Smite, burn out targets. As soon as you got an Empower Psionics charge though, your Smite damage increases quite nicely. Alright? So you can end up destroying targets fairly easily and you get back Empowered Psionics charges quite easily again. So your methodologies are pretty simple. You want to you wanna just Smite with your Empowered Psionics charge once you get up to... 100 Peril, Quell, alright. Now you can swap to your Staff to Quell for faster Quell speed, but it's up to you depending on how much you panic in the situation. Then just Unleash Smite again, you see? And it'll do that, it'll just clear hordes, keep them all suppressed. This is a wonderful methodology, but again, it does take practice and skill to get used to. So make sure that you're doing that, make sure that you're getting used to it, and keep practicing. Again, we did use it in Maelstroms with literally no trouble, so I... I leave that up to you. What is your Surge Staff used for? Your Surge Staff will mostly be used for the heavier targets, alright? Don't hesitate to use it on any of these heavier targets. Burn them out, and then just carry on again, alright? But just do be careful because your Surge Staff is not as potent as with my Warp Charge build, alright? It is slightly less effective because you have less of that bonus, but this is a build that is focused around crowd control and survival. So it is more defensive in nature rather than offensive, but you will still be able to use the Surge Staff to pop elites, armor targets fairly well. In fact, we did it on the Maelstrom run, so do not hesitate to use your Surge Staff for that. Alright, thank you guys very much for watching this video, and thank you Nancy for sharing it with us. I'm going to give some thanks to some of the top supporters of the channel, and then we're going to go over to the uh, gameplay footage. So please look forward to that. For our channel's top supporters, here are the individuals that have made all of this shenanigans possible. Starting right at the top, we've got Michael Washington as our top tipper. We've got Gator Guy, Leo Reinhardt, Cheryl Danville, Nisk as some of our top tippers. Top Super Chatter, Six Gun, and Oren. Uh, top Super Chatter list, Chanel, Ganzelope, Jonas, and Tommy Reed. Top channel membership gifter is Nightshade. Thank you guys so, so much for everything you've done for me. Um, thank you to all of our channel members as well who have made all of my shenanigans possible. Let me see the top member list starting right at the top. We actually have Nisk at the only fan level, which is crazy. I know he's only doing it for a month, but that's amazing. Tello, Arcane Silver, Akue, Chanel Name, Six Gun, Yuri, Jerry Faust, Rogue Assassin, and Zach MG, all at Prestige. Thank you guys so much. Thank you to Donning and I too at Plus Ultra, one of our longest top tier members. So thank you so much. Thank you to our Honor Robots as well. All right. They are Uncontrolled, Orin. Uh, Nightshade, Sleepless Night, Rapto, HD Pork, Matchstick Jim, Gator Guy, Saya, Wild Hunt, Timbo, uh, Simple Spider, Kaloom, Albert, Tuan Nguyen, uh, Donald Smith, Some Dummy Head, Lu Fan, The King, Curry, Link, Octavian, Philip, You Know, BVS Fang, Vikram Bao, Command Farsight, Atomica, Devin Lashin, Muki Mocha, Rena, Nathan Strong, Lady Neo, Joey Danze, Sayed Asad, Kota CMF, Kami SMH, and Benjamin Savage. Thank you guys so much for all your kind support. And Jesus, I'm going I'm to see you guys on the next one, all right? Y'all are amazing. Catch you on the next one. Enjoy the footage, folks. Enjoy the footage. You'll love this. Quelling and then smiting. Ooh, that's fire. Yeah. That's because we got a bomber family reunion right here. I'm isolated down here. Okay, it's cleared. We got another chaos spawn right here. Oh, you grabbed me. I got you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Dwayne the Pebble. Yes. Hmm. Chaos spawn grab. Thank you. I'm getting numbed on. <laughs> oh, I pushed. It's okay. It's okay. Gotcha. Yeah. There. Yep, yep, yep. Good, good, good. Good team play, good team play. Swapping over. Enhance Blitz, baby. I'll have even more Enhance Blitz. Hello, what was that blurb? I'm coming on my way. You're okay. Ooh. Got you just before getting grabbed. Uh, quickly. You gotta help him on the uh, plague ogre. Don't worry about me. Ah, yeah, well, thank you.
Okay, they're done. Oh, it's a green kill. Yeah, it's Nurgle Blast. As if I'd ever blow up. No. Do not touch the strange ladies, please. Hey, I jumped. Close yep, I'm off. down. I'm down here already. Am I really that fat that I can't move over the left? Yep. 100%, bro. I can't get over it. It's because you are Dwayne the Pebble Johnson, man. What blessings do you recommend for Columnus 5? Uh, if Atomica is here, basically they always taught me Dum Dum and Fire Frenzy. So that's what I've been using religiously ever since. And I have never changed. So I use Dum Dum and Fire Frenzy. It's basically the only blessing that makes sense. Yeah. The rest is like Ooh. reload speed or. Um, I have uh, out of ammo, so I can't really do anything. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, nice. I need you to let me touch it. Touch it. I have to do it. Very gingerly. Watch out. I have the aggro now. Okay, I'm gonna do the... I managed to heal. Rena, watch out for the Duge. I'm assisting Phil on the stupid... ...thing. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Give me an opportunity. I can kill, it's only weakened. Let's need a bit more. Oh my god, it's digesting you! Okay. Yeah, yeah, don't worry, don't worry. There's, there's hero. Yeah, you're fine, you're fine. <laughs> yeah, I can't dodge that. I'm too, I'm too big. But this is actual. Be careful. Oh, it's not actual, okay. That's good. But, damn! Damn! I'm getting bored in the play, but he's so good. We got this, we got this. I've got fools. Yep. Don't worry, I just need my smite up a little bit. Burn! We got it, nice. Dropped a health pack in case. Ahead. There's a whole stuff ahead, isn't there? No, it's just on the oh, side. Okay, okay. Yeah, but I got some health, so I uh, heard the double. I thought it was a Okay, if there's none up ahead, then I'm gonna. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do. Keep smiting. Keep smiting and biting. Keep praying and killing! I'm gonna keep them all controlled. Plague Ogren coming in. Do be careful. Flew at me. Oh my god. Sorry, yeah. Mr. Pebble. Would you kind Yep. I've got the box burster. Yeah. I was just having a happy old time with the CC. There we go. Holding that. Oh, doubles, doubles. Tennis doubles coming in. And they do not look happy. I'll try and control the horde for you guys. You just uh what you can on these nerds. I think we gotta go up and jump out. 
Yep, I reckon so. I reckon so. Y'all go, y'all go. There's a bomber too. Yeah, Dealing with bomber. Nice, nice, nice. Not today, Dogarino. Not today, boy. Good work, good work, good work. That's okay, that's okay. We got you. Good tactics. We gotta deal with this first. Oh, I'm trapped. Yep, coming for you, don't worry. Gotcha. Thank you. Another trapper, huh? You thought. You thought. But you can't. No, it's okay. It's okay. You're doing good. You're doing good. I'm here. A moment. Just a moment. Okay, last one done. I trust you. Okay. Me. Uh -oh. Not today. Not today, pals. No! They will not! Oh, oh no, somebody! Ah, fire, fire, fire! Okay, this is a bad spot, this is a bad spot. I somehow need that damned bomber. There he is, I see him. One bomber down. Are you okay? Okay. One, one, I'll distract him. He's on me. Quickly get one of them. Yep, nice, nice, nice. What's oh. he gonna do? <laughs> oh. oh. What happened? Holy shit. Oh. I got, I got rest and I immediately got. I went for the second rose and then the rest of the game. Okay. I'm gonna go for the gunners and the like. Yep, y'all, y'all just. Almost. Ah, damn it! Okay. Uh, drop the drop the med pack, maybe. Oh yeah. Oh, we forgot he yeah, even owns one. Yeah, damn it! No. Yeah. Okay, okay. You you managed to get him. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, I got him. Of course, of course, pick me up, pick me up, quickly. Yeah, you pick him up. Man. Oh no, Muty! Get that Muty, just just get that Muty if you can. Because you're not going to be able to pick me up with him around. Okay, one of the Plague Ogrens is down, good. Yeah, I think you can get me now, yes, yes, yes. There we go. All right, recovery. Yeah, nice. Dropping. Yep, dropping. 
Okay. Elysian drop troopers are done. Burn you filthy heretics. Ye shall fall to my blades. Oh my mind, whatever. I will send you to Jesus. Yes. Straight to Jesus. Not even Jesus can save you from me. Smiting the horde. One little green guy, but he's fine. Run out. Burn you heretics! I'll throw you what? Okay, do it. Got it. How dare it even exist in this space? We got a beast. Going to attempt to smart. Oh, bad fire, bad fire, bad fire. Mm. Holding. There's a sniper up there too. Spawn. Zap, 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 zap. Oh, you want to fight me, Chaos Spawn, eh? Come here. There we go. Well done. You figured out the blurbs, Hannah? Nice. Done well, done well. You're extremely sleep deprived this week, I understand, Niski man. No wonder you're chilling out today. I knew something was wrong. You should get some rest when you can, pal. Get some rest and refresh yourself for next week. And that's a GG team. Well done. Hard fought, but we did it. Yep. Proud of y'all.